Now, do you play Possum Martin? Good First evening, ladies and gentlemen. Been in three weeks. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to KRF TV. We're at. Good question. I'm just at Miami Homestead Miami Speedway for the last testing session for the Daytona Prototype Super Sprint Series. Um, the guys have been out in the track for nearly 30 minutes, just getting the feel for the car, feel for the track conditions, and are about to head into a 30-minute qualifying session, which does award points for as similar to a race. And then after that, we will go into two 15-minute races of full first race of full reverse grid, second race of the um, lead lap cars reversed, and then race three will be the lead lap cars reversed again, but a 20 minute run for the night of racing. Um, makes for interesting um, exercise for faster drivers to learn how to pass slower drivers, and slower drivers dealing with faster drivers actually racing for position so I'm just gonna skip into the scenery of the thing uh, the scenery of the track while well, we're just waiting for the clock to count down um, we can if I can find where to bring it up um, I'm going to try and bring up the current results. So, Aaron in practice is the fastest with an average speed of 100.83 miles per hour. TJ Brown in second. Um, Paul's third fastest, Mark's fourth thing. And we've actually got nine but qualifying has just started. Um, I do apologise if I'm pausing. I've actually got teammates in my ear through TeamSpeak, which isn't on the broadcast, and I will be chatting to them in and out a little bit. And it looks like we're gone practice. So I felt the same thing when I joined. We're going to have a bit of a look. And go and see what Aaron's Thank up to. Yeah, TJ, he can hear you. You just can't reply because he's broadcasting. Ah, uh, okay. I can relay the messages if you like. Yeah, I was just going to say, maybe, like, there's not many people who could put up another session, like, and go for the extra 45 minutes to get the, the extra practice in that was advertised.
She's having a look in to see what happened. She is not. He apologizes, he balls up. Good on him. So we're just gonna go like this? Yeah, we're staying with it for now. It's only a testing session and a pre-test broadcast. I do apologise guys, I've um, just been chatting to one of the drivers, as you've heard their side of the conversation, um, I have actually ballsed up the server tonight, and that's purely my fault, so hopefully we get a few more cars to join, um, and, I, and I also um, apologise for the background noise as well guys, it's just... I broadcast from the lounge room. I'm hoping to have this shifted out to a separate room within the next month or so. But I'm doing the best I can. I'm also going to apologise in advance that any chat from drivers and that will be live effectively and I have no way of bleeping any language that sort of comes out from it. Um, it's raw, it's good to listen to and this is the apology in advance if any bad language happens to fly between drivers. As we're in qualifying at the moment, um, I'm just having a few issues. Just trying to pull up where, who's pulling the fast lap. We've got Aaron Farmer, who has the quickest lap so far, sitting in the pits. And um, sitting on 1 minute 16, so he's extremely quick around the plate, so he's been able to get his head around the car quite quickly. It's cold temperatures out there. Um, yeah, it's 18 degrees. It's cool. Real heavy humidity, so probably a bit of moisture out there as well. And the track itself is only 21 degrees, so 
first couple laps of these cars out on the track are going to slip and slide, misbehave a little bit, they're going to struggle with the chassis, but then it's going to, the tyres will come up the temp and it's going to hook up. So they've probably got to get a couple of laps down before they can get their qualifying lap in. Um, Homestead USA, track length is 2.1 miles. We know the track temperature in Fahrenheit this time at 70.39 Fahrenheit. And there's nine corners. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, I have a error in the overlay. So this is good to know. But as it stands, we've got Aaron Farmer currently holding P1, TJ Brown in second, George Fullerton in third, Paul Gurrell in fourth, Martin Creams in fifth, Mark Pavazic in sixth, and then we've got some slower times there for after of Warwick Brown, Jacob, Warwick Brown, Jacob Brown, Chris, Christian Hilton and Rog McIver. I'm sorry if I can't, if I make a mistake pronouncing names. Um, I'm new to it. I'm trying to get my head around it. And hopefully the broadcasts get better. As George comes around and loses it, so that's not going to happen. Um, as Paul comes around, we're going to jump on board and go for a wrap around this place. There's a lap around this crazy little track with um, Paul. Nice and tight. Some open sections let loose. Uh, sorry guys for the pause. I've just got a couple of teammates chatting to me in team speak. Thank you. 
Sorry, Joe. Sorry. Currently we have Aaron Farmer with 1 minute 16. 5.14 and looks like TJ just stepped it up into second place. Um, just trying to find it. And TJ up into second place in qualifying. <coughs> we have Paul Gorell in third, George Fullerton in fourth, Mark Peverich Pazovich in fifth, Martin Kramer's in sixth, Christian Hilton in seventh, Warwick Brown in eighth, myself, which I'm not driving, but the towel logged into the server, sitting in ninth, and Jacob Brown in tenth, Rog McIver in eleventh, and Lance Hawkins in twelfth. Um, let's take a look at Lance, see what he's been doing, and how his car is actually handling on the track for him. Now by the look of it, I believe this is actually a sneak peek of the new livery for the KRF cars going to the 2016 season. So, looks like the Carriff boys have snuck their skins on their C7s and we're getting a little bit of a sneak peek of the new skin. Stay right, PJ.
we'll just have a quick look of how the qualifying is setting up at the moment. Aaron's still in front and brought it into the 115, so he's been out there a while, burning a bit of fuel off. Got the tyres up, the temperature, the track's rubbering up. Um, TJ Brown, low 116s, so he's knocking the clock down as well. Got Paul Gorell, high 16s. Martin J. Kramer's in the 117, sitting in fourth. Now these guys are actually going to be the four, if this, these four guys stay in this position, they're going to be the four guys at the rear of the grid for race one. So they're going to have to work for points right off the back foot. But they are going to score a pretty good handful of points at the beginning of the... before even race one does, due to the fact qualifying is carrying a set of points. We've got George Fulton in fifth, Mark um, Pazovich in sixth, Lance Hawkins is in seventh with a 119, Chris, Christian Hilton in eighth, Warwick Brown in ninth without a time being set, same as myself, Jacob Brown, Rog McIver. So uh, these guys haven't actually got a qualifying lap down. And it looks like Rob's coming out of the pits, cold tyres. Things gonna slide around on him. Let's have a look. In fact, we might actually scoot right in on him and have a look how actual hard he is at that wheel. And we might. might actually um, switch to the other camera in his car. That was a pretty full view of just the bottom of the steering wheel. So we'll have a look of how hard he's actually going to be at the wheel on these cold tyres. How much tippy tone he's going to be doing. We'll have a bit of a squeeze of how hard he's um, pushing that motor. Now these these cars are restricted to 7,500 RPM. Um, six speed transmission. I don't think these guys are going to be grabbing six gear tonight here. If they do, I'd say it'd be, wow, he is seesawing off that steering wheel. Bounce it up onto the oval and off he goes. He's got a lap out of the pits. Let's see how he goes for this qualifying run. Probably still a couple of laps shy of getting up to the ultimate temperature for the tyres. So he's still probably tippy toeing and just coasting the car around. In through the left hander, up into the right. A little bit of oversteer. And this corner is actually quite deceiving first time out. Yep, car is still got. Rear tyres still haven't come up the temperature on him, he's slipping and sliding. So he'll finish his lap off working the rears and have another crack at it. Well, big tank slapper coming out of the last corner, which effectively destroys his next lap on a run. And he's actually going to pull it up and escape back to pits, which is, due to the fact that his tyres went up the temperature, is probably going to hurt him more than what he's going to gain in the next five minutes. Um, I'm just going to scoot back out to the cameras and might have a look what Aaron's up to at the moment. He's just coasting it through. Um, here we have 
of Christian. A little bit loose. Still trying to coast the car, getting the tyres up to heat. These guys are actually still trying to work out some of them are where the actual grip limit is. Um, makes for it interesting. We're back on Aaron at the moment. Swings it in. This is TJ Brown. Um, Pazovic just getting past the slower car at the moment. Bit of front end damage, I'd say he's had a couple of excursions off the grass. Um, these cars are sitting reasonably low and doesn't take much to dam damage that um, front spoiler. Looks like Jacob Brown, he's been out there, um, he's been pushing pretty hard, effectively hasn't laid a qualifying time down due to possibly racking up at least one incident point on each run, so he's probably out there frantically trying to learn the track, understand the car, and there's another point, and abandoning from it.
Well, that looks like qualifying's finished. We're just going to scoot through the um, results. We have Aaron Fuller in first, TJ Brown in second, Paul Grell in third, Jacob Brown in fourth. Good boy, mate. Um, Warwick Brown in fifth, Martin Kramer's in sixth, George Fulton in seventh, Lance Hawkins Hawks in eighth, Mark Pasovich in ninth, Chris, Christian Hilton in tenth, um, myself, which I won't be racing, and uh, Rob Maliva. Sorry, Rob, if I can't, I just cannot pronounce your last name, in twelfth. Um, we'll be back shortly for race one.